Hello, my name is Rich Sanker. I'm the director of the Office of Pre-Health Studies at Baylor University. I'm excited you're joining me today to learn more about our programs. Uh, originally, my family and I came from St. Louis and moved down to Waco in 2009 to join the, the Baylor community. It's really been a fantastic adventure being here these past 10 years plus. The community, the opportunities working with the students as well as my professional colleagues at the Baylor College of Medicine and Baylor Scott White Healthcare as well as the other healthcare providers in the Waco area has been a tremendous adventure. It is a wonderful place to work, a great community to be part of, and I'm inspired every day by the actions and motivations of the students on the campus, as well as the remarkable intelligence and convictions of the, the Baylor faculty and staff that I get to work alongside. I hope you don't mind as I transition to working on PowerPoint for the rest of this presentation. Now that we transition to the PowerPoint, let us begin. The Office of Pre-Health Studies works in, to serve those students uh, who aspire to join the health professions, such as becoming a medical doctor or dentist. Through our programs, activities, courses, and the other topics I'm gonna to discuss in this presentation, I hope you'll see that not only do we want you to be successful in, in moving on to medical school or dental school, but that we wanna prepare you for a dynamic career in healthcare. Um, we really wanna give you an opportunity to develop the leadership skills, the compassion, the empathy, as well as the self-awareness, so that as you become a healthcare provider, you can use your classic skills to get engaged in research or your leadership in a way to transform healthcare in a way that really is significant and meaningful. I'm very fortunate to get to work alongside four remarkable individuals uh, who assist the students in getting ready for the application process, both to the professional schools and again, ready for their dynamic career in, health, in the health professions. Ms. Michelle Diaz joined us last year as the director of the Living Learning Center over in Earl Hall. Uh, she's brought a unique energy and insight, as well as programming to really help that community grow and flourish. Ms. Jane Lynn has been working for the past 10 years, really helping juniors and seniors get ready for the medical school and dental school application process and providing a lot of guidance and insight to help them, to help challenge them to grow in a way to stand out in that process. Ms. Savoy joined us about five years ago, and she really works with the honor students uh, in the pre-health program, as well as the science and science fellows um, in the program, providing unique, terrific advising, as well as providing programs and activities to help them kind of gain insight and grow and flourish within the, all the allied health professions as well. Uh, Ms. Torres, uh, our office manager, is really the glue that holds us all together, and we can't be more grateful than the work that she does to make sure that we can deliver effective advising and programming to all of our students. Now I wanna clarify, when I talk about pre-health and the students that we serve, um, there are a specific cohort of health professions that we support, such as students who seek to become medical doctors in the pre-medical program, dentists, optometrists, podiatrists, physician assistants, veterinarians, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and pharmacists. These are the programs that we work with. We do have a nursing program at Baylor University as well as a speech and language pathology, but those programs, those students in those programs are managed by those specific, specific departments. Though the pre-health programs do have a significant curricular expectation, uh, in and of itself, it doesn't lead to any specific academic major or degree. Uh, the pre-health curriculum generally will require about 60 or more credit hours or about half your undergraduate degree to complete all the requirements in it. But in addition to completing those specific courses, you also have to complete the courses or the curriculum of your academic major, as well as maybe the core requirements of a specific school uh, in which that major is housed. Uh, most professional programs like medical school and dental school and PA programs and PT don't seem to show any specific preference or have any concern about the student's academic major. So students are free to major uh, in whatever field they want to. So if you have an interest in English, or philosophy, fantastic. Um, since most of the programs, the pre-health programs do have a lot of sciences as a part of our requirements, many students do tend to elect in programs like biology, biochemistry, and the health sciences, which is great. Uh, but if you have a practical interest like business or engineering, wonderful or piloting, um, we generally can incorporate those, all those majors within, or the pre-health curriculum within all those particular academic majors. Uh, our goal is always to make sure as students consider their academic programs, uh, that we can incorporate the pre-health curriculum in a way that ensures that you graduate in four years. Um, if you do want to do something complex, like double majors and many minors, that could add time to your 
overall stay at Baylor. Uh, and that's something for you to discuss with your families. But our goal is always a four year graduation rate. What we really want to make sure has happened is that you pick those academic areas in which you thrive, in which you really enjoy, um, and that you see benefit taken into your professional careers. Because all academic programs will have a benefit in some way uh, to how you practice uh, in the future. Any pre health programs around the United States will always provide the basic advising support programs to ensure their students meet the minimum expectations of the professional schools, of the health-related professional schools. At Baylor, uh, we're always committed to do more, and we're blessed with the faculty and the institutional support to do so. At Baylor, we have just amazing, outstanding faculty colleagues who are generally committed to the teaching uh, of the undergraduate students. Um, quality teaching is given a priority here. Uh, we seek those individuals who really want to have a dynamic class, who create, want to create a dynamic classroom experience um, and really participate in the lives of our undergraduate students, uh, particularly in the sciences. Uh, our faculty uh, really take the time to get to know the students and find the opportunities to support them through scholarly efforts, such as helping them join their research labs or working with them to, on community outreach programs, both locally and globally. It really isn't surprising to see many of my faculty friends uh, join the students on their medical or health related mission trips, both in the spring semester and the summers or sponsor those kind of trips. Um, though I love the faculty, the really the best part uh, of the pre-health programs are the students that we get to work with. Um, these students generally care and take care, uh, support one another while challenging themselves to really give their best every day. It's just really inspiring uh, to work with the community of students who are so committed to make the world more just and a better place for us all. Um, just by doing their service work or demonstrating that commitment in their academics uh, just to become better human beings. Um, they never cease to stun me in the leadership they display. And they're just so generous in the time and the service they give both off and on campus. Uh, like I mentioned, the, all the global health related mission trips that they provide. Um, we're such, so fortunate, plus we're so fortunate to have just great partnerships um, with the health, health professions, um, both locally and throughout the state of Texas. Getting to work with uh, our colleagues at the Baylor College of Medicine or the Baylor Scott White Healthcare System, as well as a, a local alumni uh, of Baylor and just the, the health uh, programs or the, the health centers within the Waco area, really just allow us to create special internships, workshops, outreach programs, uh, all these which give our opportunities really to uh, give opportunities to our students to really grow and flourish. At Baylor, uh, we want to be proactive in our students' professional and educational development. Uh, to support our advising efforts, uh, we also uh, sponsor a series of special pre-health classes that really allow our students to engage in our program and explore their own aspirations in, in the health professions. Uh, particularly courses like Foundations of Medicine uh, really allow our students to hear from leaders in the medical world community uh, and give them a better, gives the students a better chance to understand their call uh, to these health professions. Um, these courses are structured in a way that really facilitates both professional engagement and reflection. Uh, moreover, it really encourages students uh, to be part of the Greater Pre-Health Program by joining particular organizations or going to specific events um, that really allow them to uh, hear from unique or get, gain unique aspects uh, within the health professions or understanding the uniqueness uh, of the career they're pursuing. Um, we're also fortunate at Baylor to have a really terrific medical humanities program which sponsors both the major and minor. Um, students in the medical humanities really um, We'll be able to take courses that really will help understand the complexities of delivering healthcare in the 21st century. Uh, we also sponsor a series of special certificate programs at minors, like the, the medical Spanish certificate and the minor in medical ethics, as well as a minor in medical leadership, uh, that really kind of give our students uh, another genuine advantage or an opportunity to really explore uh, dimensions of health that can really benefit their, their, their future careers. Um, uh, this past year, we're also, or we're also currently developing programs uh, at the graduate level as well, four plus one programs in tropical disease and uh, global health and public health. And we just started an accelerated healthcare MBA program uh, that the students will be able to join, uh, which really I think will give our students an opportunity to, to, to demonstrate both the leadership and the, the scholarly skills to help their application stand out. But more importantly, um, really prepare them for a dynamic career in medicine. One of the most popular programs uh, we have at Baylor is the dual missions program that we sponsor with our friends at the Baylor College of Medicine. To be considered for this program, students must indicate on their application to Baylor that they're interested in the pre-medical track. In including that, uh, if you have, you must make sure that you have a minimum 
ACT composite ATC score of a 32 or a composite math verbal score of a 1450 on the SAT. Baylor does super score, so uh, it's always worth considering taking that test again if you're close on those numbers. Um, once you have that, uh, the missions office will consider you for the, the dual missions program. Qualified applicants uh, will be invited to participate in a special um, selection event, generally hosted in the months of November and January. Last year, we interviewed, or not really interviewed, but considered about 150 students at these uh, selected events. Of the 150, uh, the pre-health selection committee, or the B2B selection committee, uh, will choose 20 students who will go on to Baylor College of Medicine, who then will be interviewed by them in the month of March. Uh, of those 20 students, six are selected. Uh, as you can see, it's a very competitive program. These six students are given a conditional admissions to Baylor College of Medicine. They're free to major in any academic major, but they have to graduate within four years, no sooner or later. One of the students like this pastor did graduate or did complete their degree program in three, but elected to do our new accelerated healthcare MBA program. So that opportunity uh, or programs like that are, are available to the students. But again, Baylor College of Medicine intends for you to, to arrive within four years of your, during your undergraduate career. These students will also have to take the MCAT, uh, but they set the minimum score at a 500 or a 501, uh, or which is generally the 50th percentile. These students will also have to maintain a 3.5 cumulative GPA, uh, both math and science, uh, as well as a regular GPA. It's not a program that's meant to discourage or keep you out. We just want to make sure uh, that you're doing well in your academic courses. And the average entry in GPA to Baylor College of Medicine on a given year is generally over a 3.9. So 3.5 is considered rather generous. Uh, these four, I mean, these six students will also receive um, scholarships for their four years at Baylor, which will range between three to ten thousand dollars of value. And a couple of the students will also be competitive or be able to uh, get another ten thousand dollars scholarship, yearly scholarship for their uh, for, for the medical training at the Baylor College of Medicine. Um, what is important to note is students don't have to be in this track to move on to Baylor College of Medicine. Actually, the majority of our students uh, who do move on to Baylor College of Medicine once they complete their undergraduate degree at Baylor uh, are actually not part of this program. So you do not have to be a B2B student to actually go to Baylor College of Medicine. So a lot of Baylor students are competitive. It's just a great opportunity for those six students um, for both the scholarship purposes and the fact that they don't have to be as overly concerned about the MCAT as the other students do. In addition to the advising programs and the B2B program uh, and the coursework that we sponsor, we've also been able to develop a variety of specialized internships and other programs and activities that really help our students engage um, in their future professions. As you can see on these two slides, uh, there are quite a few uh, programs and we actually have a few additional programs in development for next year. Many of these programs were created with the partnerships with our friends at the Baylor College of Medicine, the Baylor Scott White Healthcare System, the Waco Family Health Center, the VA Center for Excellence, Providence Healthcare System in Waco, uh, the Methodist Healthcare Systems in San Antonio, and really just alumni throughout the country. Um, some of these internship programs are linked to, also are linked to some of our programs like the medical uh, leadership minor, or and a lot of them will have a special focus in on medical research topics. Um, some of these programs uh, were actually developed and created by the, the students at Baylor, uh, such as the Pre-Med Pre-Dente, which we renamed, it, renamed the Pre-Health Symposium. Uh, for this particular event, our students usually invite over 30 plus professional schools, medical schools, dental schools, PT programs to come to the Baylor campus. And we generally have over 600 of our undergraduates participating in it. But it, it is an amazing day, to, and I'm always impressed to see the students pull off the significant event every February. Uh, it's really impressive. Some of the programs like the Pre-Health Committee on Evaluation and Letters and the MCAT DAT workshops and um, are sponsored by the Pre-Health staff and office in general. Um, usually they're intended to really get students ready for the professional school application cycle, um, but these are actually only a small sample of the workshops and activities uh, that are sponsored uh, throughout the year. One of my favorite programs that I want to highlight involves our partnership with the National School of Tropical Medicine at BCM. Uh, in light of the current COVID-19 crisis, this program really seems to take on a greater significance. Our students have always had a deep passion and commitment to global health and outreach. Uh, to empower them, we developed a Tropical Medicine Summer Institute as well as the Tropical Disease Research Engine Program, or that we call TDRIP, um, to 
develop their abilities and talents. The Summer Institute is a two-week intensive summer program in which students learn about the medical issues and diseases they will encounter when in their work and dealing with impoverished communities throughout the, the globe. In this program, they learn how to diagnose and best treat these particular diseases and issues so that they can better treat their patients in the future. Um, they will also get a chance to better understand the global health issues that, um, that are emerging, much like the, the COVID-19 one that we're currently facing and how public health programs or how the programs like the World Health Organization tries to contend and deal with them. For students that want to participate and do even more on this front, uh, they are also given the opportunity to do the, the TDRIP program or the, the research internship program with them. Uh, my colleagues such as Dr. Peter Hotez and Maria Patazzi have already been working on vaccine development uh, to try to address these particular diseases and issues that really affect the poor throughout the world. Um, in fact, they've been some of the leaders working on uh, corona vaccines, um, much like the COVID-19. So really uh, showing the pertinent work that the students can get involved in. Programs like these are just really another way for our students to really develop their talents and abilities so they can do remarkable work in their future. I'm really excited about this new program uh, that we started uh, for this upcoming spring of 2021, uh, what we're calling pre-med in Dublin. Really all the, any of the pre-health students can participate in it, but I just nicknamed it pre-health in Dublin. Um, many of our students really wanna go abroad uh, and have an abroad semester curricular wise. So we developed this program with the pre-med in mind. There are many programs at Baylor like the Madrid program, Rome program, China program that students can do, uh, but this one, really will fit nicely curricular wise uh, for the students uh, who are pursuing pre-med or pre-health. Um, working with the University College of Dublin, uh, our students are gonna be able to take coursework specifically in organic chemistry and human physiology and public health. Um, plus the students will have the opportunity to do research in one of the labs uh, in Dublin, which is an experience that really is fantastic for them if they really are uh, interested in doing research in the future. This program is great because it'll also give them a chance to tour Europe uh, and see many of their healthcare programs and facilities and how uh, European healthcare is structured. It's just a fantastic way for our students to go abroad and stay uh, within the, the program curriculum. Uh, I mentioned earlier, one of the best features of our pre-health programs are the students and the organizations that they sponsor. Uh, this can be really seen in the incredible activities that these students organizations provide. Uh, as you can see, they sponsor programs that allow students to engage in their health careers through shadowing activities and workshops. Uh, the programs can include things like hospice volunteering, tutoring high school or grade school students, working at homeless shelters, um, volunteering at local clinics, particularly with like the Waco Family Health Center and the hospitals in the Baylor area, as well as the v uh, Veterans Administration hospitals. They also host a multitude of guest speakers and uh, learning workshops and success workshops as well. Um, for instance, one of the organizations actually brought uh, Dr. Butler, who was a 21, 2011 uh, Nobel Prize winner uh, in medicine to campus back in February, which was amazing. Uh, most importantly, uh, these student organizations really give the students a, a great sense of participating and engaging in a, in a vibrant community and that support that comes with it. As you can see, we have a wide variety of pre-health student organizations. Many do focus on medicine like AMSA and the Medical Service Organization and, and to some extent AED, but some of those will also get a little bit deeper, such as AMWA, the Medical American Medical Women's Association or the Latino Pre-Health Association to focus on specialized topics. Uh, several organizations will also include or focus on things like physical therapy, occupational therapy, and PA. So you can see your particular professional interest can be suited as well as targeted things if you have interest in global health or research. Um, there's organizations that really provide a means for you to grow and develop uh, with your peers in that level. There's one group I wanna give some uh, special attention to, and this is the medical mentors. Actually, they're really not a student organization as the other ones are, but really more of a special peer cohort that we developed uh, to help support all of the students in their academic and professional success on the campus. It is true, the curriculum and the expectations of being pre-health uh, and pre-med really are challenging, and they can be somewhat intimidating or uh, stressful to some students who are participating in it. But, and we know we're gonna ask a lot of you in this program uh, to accomplish a lot and work really hard. But we wanna make sure that you're given every resource to be successful and help you navigate it in a way that hopefully uh, decreases uh, the intensity or really helps you develop those time management skills and life skills so that you can thrive in the huge future health professions. Now the medical mentors are some of our very best, most successful pre-health students. 
And what's unique about it is they generally love taking care of supporting uh, the whole pre-health community and mentoring uh, those new students coming in. The, the medical mentors will offer, offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring through um, to students throughout the year and talk about things like how to study biology or how to engage with your faculty or how to um, identify summer programs that might be beneficial to students. And they'll also sponsor many workshops and activities that do the same, but really may go into how to deal with stress management or uh, develop a resume or a CV to help your application stand out for research programs or activities that you wanna participate in the summer. Uh, but at Baylor, again, particularly programs like the Medical Mentors, we wanna make sure that the students are given every advantage and all the support you need to succeed here. Um, not just a few students, but all students. Uh, the Medical Mentors are just really one of our most valued resources uh, to help, help us do this. Now the Science and Health Living Learning Center uh, in Earl Hall is a program we started about five years ago. Fantastic, one of my, uh, well, one of the, the favorites that I'm highlighting here. To, I hope you get a chance to come visit campus uh, when all this dies down so you can see Earl Hall for yourself, which is really located near the BSB. To qualify to live in Earl Hall as you're making an application this year or next year, we do have a minimum SAT score of 1170 or an ACT of a 24 to be considered uh, to join it. And, Meeting these requirements doesn't mean you'll get a spot. We have about 320 bedrooms in Earl Hall, but uh, how the program works, it's not really a first come first serve that we're gonna look at essays and other criteria to determine whether or not you get to live here. Particularly if you're interested in one of these particular science fields of biology or psychology, uh, chemistry, nursing, uh, the health sciences, the medical humanities or nutrition or the communication science disorders. If you're pursuing one of those programs, you will get certain advantage, but if you're pre-health in business or engineering, you can also be considered, just make sure that, again, you mark pre-health on your application. Now, they do a lot of programs in the Earl Hall or in the Science and Health Living Learning Center, seminars and panels. They offer special courses like our laparoscopy course, uh, which students learn how to do surgical techniques using the laparoscopy equipment, uh, workshops on success, uh, preparing for the summer activities, as well as chance to have dinners with specialized medical speakers and faculty partners uh, that we have, and um, just a chance to really engage and learn in a community. We are sponsoring many social programs and activities like trick-or-treat night and marina day and tailgating. So it, on top of the professional scholastic activities, we really want to have a vibrant social community as well. Um, so the students in there really live in a way that one develops their professional aspirations and academic abilities, but at the same time, we hope cultivate real meaningful friendships that last uh, for the lifetime. And what well, I think we can always sponsor or state clearly is that the rooms in Earl Hall are fantastic. Larger, all, all hardwood floors, it's one of the newest uh, residential complexes on campus. So I think that's one of the features the students really appreciate uh, with the opportunity to live there. And, uh, and as I mentioned a little bit earlier, it, is really close to the Baylor Science Building, so your, your walk uh, for your classes really is convenient. It's only about two or three minutes away, which you spend a lot of time um, in the Baylor Science Building, so that convenience factor can't be overstated. If you have any more questions or uh, would like to contact us, we really encourage you to email us at prehealth at baylor.edu. You can call us. Um, we probably won't be picking up the phone as much since we're sheltering from home. So email might be a better way, but we're gonna put a lot of information on our website as well. I appreciate you taking the time. This is the first video presentation I've created in this format. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I appreciate you giving me patience and understanding uh, as, you, as you listen to me throughout this. Um, have a blessed day. Um, and again, we look forward to hearing from you.